Hi, I'm Tim Schick and I'm Director of Business and Product Strategy for Navistar's Engine Group. Everyone is talking about 2010 emissions because 2010 will bring more change to an industry that's already seen a lot of that. There are two major approaches to 2010. First, there's Navistar's in-cylinder approach. There's also the SCR, or Selective Catalytic Reduction Approach, that's mostly been used in Europe. Let's look at the SCR components. So here's the major components of the SCR system. Actually, it's missing one major component that you don't see because it's on the engine itself. Just like all 2007 engines today have the exhaust gas recirculation or the EGR system, as far as we know, all 2010 engines will have that as well. In addition, they all have a diesel particulate filter and an oxidation catalyst. Now, with those two components is added this third unit here, which is the urea mixer. And of course, the urea mixer takes its source from this uh, tank, which you'll notice has a heater, because unlike diesel fuel, urea must be heated. Now, in addition to heating, of course, this requires regular refilling uh, at a service or a filling station, just like diesel fuel, but it's a separate step, and it's one more thing that drivers are going to have to be uh, cognizant of or aware of that needs a lot of attention to make sure that it's always full because if it's not full at some stage the truck is going to power down uh, or it's going to quit running eventually altogether. So another thing for the driver involvement that we don't have today. There's a urea pump, collection of nozzles and valves that is all pulled together by this group of sensors and wires and connectors leading to this brain, very similar to the engine control unit we have, only it's a separate control unit, an additional control unit for the SCR system. Now here's the final step. There's a ammonia slip catalyst and an SCR catalyst that uh, are the final step in the system before the exhaust goes out the tailpipe. Here's an SCR system mounted on a test truck and it's obviously not the exact way you see it in production because it's painted yellow so that you can see all these system components. Here's the controller and there's the SCR catalyst and of course the wires leading to the various parts of the system. And right here below me is the urea or the SCR tank itself. Now, proponents of the SCR system will tell you that all of this added hardware is well worth it because the SCR will save fuel. However, the cost of added urea will largely offset those fuel savings. The SCR system brings with it added components and hardware and also the need for training of personnel. Drivers must be trained to replenish the urea system to maintain 2010 compliance. Technicians must be trained for the diagnostics of the system and all without any real cost savings. Let's take a look at the Navistar in-cylinder solution applied to this test truck. Just like before, we've painted the added componentry yellow to highlight. As you can see, there is no added componentry. No extra tanks, lines, or valves. No new diagnostics for technicians. No driver training. Just simplicity. So building on today's platform, we increase the injection pressure, increase the EGR rate, improve combustion with piston bowl geometry refinements, rematch the turbos, and refine the calibration for performance and fuel economy. An in-cylinder solution has always been part of our strategy. So we developed all our engine platforms to achieve 2010 compliance without after treatment. Our customers want their trucks to work just as hard as they do. They have deliveries to make and jobs to perform and Navistar won't add any complexity to those tasks. We've taken a brief look at the two major means of achieving 2010 compliance. Navistar's in-cylinder solution provides customers the simplicity to continue business as usual.